I have a, a testimonial of you on our website that says, I took the Webflow Masterclass, now I'm building 8K Webflow websites. Now I go on your Twitter profile and I see Framer Expert. And I just went into your <laughs> Contra profile and it's just like, you built the new Contra for Teams page on Framer, it looks fantastic. I wanna understand exactly what's going on. What, like, why have you switched? What's going on? What's working for you right now? I wanna hear it. It's been a little while since uh, the, the Webflow Masterclass. And I think the testimony was like, this is amazing. It, it, like it helped me like uh, charge more for my products. Also like know how to, how to work with Webflow. I think it was like 2021 when Framer was like uh, pivoting to Framer sites. And I was like, whoa, what is this? It looks like Figma. So kind of like it started there. And I was like, just curious. Because if I remember like being a little like quote unquote late to the Figma, um, I was like using Sketch. And then like I kept hearing about Figma and I was like, ah, this is just like not this other tool that's like not gonna, you know, Sketch is the, the main one. And then uh, switched to Figma and then I never looked back later. And then I was like, you know, I, I want to get a little bit more like ahead of the curve when like these tools come out. I want to... And I started being more active on Twitter as well. And then, yeah, so like I saw Framer sites and it's, it looked super interesting because it was like super similar to Figma. So I decided to give it a, sh a, a shot and try it out. And then I think the main thing was like the learning curve difference, because if you're like already really used to Figma and if you know auto layout or like a little bit of Flexbox, you pretty much can do like any, everything there already, like with a pretty small learning curve. So I think that was like the main thing that was like, okay, this is can be a game changer for me because it's like closer to my workflow basically, because it's like, I'm in Figma already. And then I think they came out also with the plugin already. So from Figma to Framer, that made it super easy to put up a page in like an hour, you could have like a landing page. So yeah, it kind of started there basically. And then after that, it was just been kind of like, yeah, just started doing more projects in Framer. But it is, let me I ask you a question, because uh, at this point yeah. you were already doing projects with Webflow, you see traction, yeah. you know, you can charge a lot of money for that. Why, why switch tool? Like, was it, so my, my goal wasn't, it, was it easier Were clients up for you working with a different tool at that point? Like, what, what was that like? Yeah. My goal actually wasn't like, I wasn't, I, I didn't go into it like, oh, I want to switch from Webflow because I only have good things to say about Webflow. Like nothing is bad there. So I was just curious. So I had this client that which I made like I think it was like the first website that I charged more for in my flow was like eight thousand dollars or something. So this client was like awesome. It's like they were really good to work with. And then they hit me up later, like a year or so later, um, or almost a year, and then they were like, Hey, we have this other project. And then I was like, Hey, I'm also like trying this new tool. Like, would you guys be down to like it seems like we can make the the website faster that way? Because I, I've been experimenting a little bit with Framer before, so I was like, I think I can make this website faster and this new tool. They're like growing and explaining a little bit to them. And they were like, yeah, we trust you. Let's see what happens. And then also that was the first project that I brought over to Contra. So also I got a testimonial right there too. So it was like kind of like everything kind of happening uh, at once. But then, yeah, so we did the website in Framer. They loved it. And I was like able to do more animations too. I feel like with Webflow, I did some cool transitions, but I think there was a bigger learning curve for me. I wasn't like really good at doing those things yet. And because I could mock up things in Figma super easily with like smart animate and do like some cool transitions and stuff, when I started working with Framer, those things were super easy. It was like, just like kind of out of the box, kind of like similar to Figma. So that's kind of like, yeah, I did that website. And then another website came in, a recommendation from the same client. And then I was like, hey, let's do this in this new tool. And it kind of was like, I liked doing it. I was doing it faster. So yeah, so I kind of just started doing more and more and then kind of never did Webflow on websites anymore after that. Uh, so which was kind of like you... a natural... At what point did you decide, okay, I should probably be a, like, because I saw you were like certified framer expert. When did you decide I'm going all in on this? I'm doubling yeah, down. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think like how I mentioned kind of everything, I don't know, it was weirdly perfect timing for everything. I feel like I started doing framer and then Contra, like started kind of showing up on my, my feed too. And I was like, oh, what is this? Like, I'm, I want to do more freelancing this year. So let's sign in. And Contra was also like kind of the very beginning. Can you say a I, word about Contra? Maybe not everybody knows Contra. I think it's pretty cool. I also hired there, but maybe you can share a little mm -hmm. bit about that as well. Yeah, to me, it's like my one-stop shop now. Like I tried other tools. Like I tried Fiverr a long time ago, for example. Fiverr, obviously, it's more like on the cheaper side of things, but 
yeah, so I've tried other freelancing websites as well, but Contra was kind of like, oh, I can send proposals here. I was actually using your proposal site a long time ago as well. That's um, awesome. And then, and then Framer, uh, sorry, Contra was like, I could do everything there, like send proposals, manage the clients, receive payments, message the clients there, uh, and basically have my portfolio there. So like I was using Contra as my portfolio for a little bit. And then yeah. also like messaging clients it's like every it's like a one-stop shop there and like so that's my only tool now for like managing everything so yeah that's kind of like i think a very short summary of like what contra is and i also yeah i just always felt like the community the, the team was so active on, so, on the social media so like the community was also like pretty engaged and helping build a tool which i thought it was awesome i think that's like a summarizes like yeah so you said you said in the beginning i i had a feeling where I need to be in the, like getting into the tools early. And it sounds yeah. like doing that with Framer and Contra at the same time has worked out for you. Yeah. And I feel like also for maybe people that are not on Twitter, I feel like Twitter has kind of been an amazing source for me, not just for like contacting with people to get like some leads, but also to learn a lot. Like I learned a lot from Twitter. Like I, I discovered Figma on Twitter, basically Framer, Contra, Arc, all these like awesome new like stuff that's coming out. So I feel like I learned a lot from it. So I think I lost track a little bit of where we were with before. Like with, so I, th I think we were talking about when we moved to. Yeah. When you decided to double down oh, on contract Framer. export, yeah. contract expert and double down, doubling down on Framer. Yeah. So like sign up for Contra, move that first client there. And then I think like a month or so after they were like, Hey, we have the Framer expert program. And I was like, whoa, what is this? Like, if you already did like a website in Framer or a couple, uh, submit and then we can, we'll review it and give you the badge and stuff. So I was like, whoa, that sounds cool. So I, I did that right away too. So it kind of like, so I did that, got a couple of recommendations in Contra because of the two clients that I, I brought over. And it kind of like started working out. And then like more people started asking for Framer stuff. And I just kept doing it. And yeah, it wasn't like, I'm like, I'm, yeah, like I don't know. I feel like it just kind of happened, and I'm got caught up in it, and just never looked back. I was like, okay, this is working. Why? Why should I? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, can can you sum up like what what made the difference for you? Was it easier learning curve, faster builds? Like what made you kind of do the switch? And like for me, just because I'm a web flow person, of mm -hmm. it, there's kind of like friction for me if I'm thinking about switch into a new tool because I have my process, I have everything. What, mm -hmm. so what were those things for you that kind of like me? Yeah, I think, I think I didn't, I didn't have so much friction in to, to that sense because I was still learning a lot of web flow. Like I, I wasn't, I, I didn't feel like I was a master at it yet. Like I knew how to do websites like pretty quickly in web, in web flow compared to any other alternative at the time. But yeah, I think once I started playing with Framer, it kind of just like clicked more for me. Like that friction, like it removed some of the friction because keep my Figma files pretty clean when I'm thinking about development. So I'm thinking like, okay, so this is how, and I've done a bit like of design system work too and met with developers a lot, like throughout those work sessions where they would be like, I would build something one way. They would be like, oh no, um, we can't build it this way. We have to like, think about like the simplest thing like let's say in figma we can go in and put like gradients on a border which we can't do in framer or webflow like you have to hack it if you want to do that so i kind of like had a bit more of that mindset whenever i'm like building something that's going to be either that i'm going to be implementing or just working with a developer i'm already kind of like so i've become really comfortable with auto layout as well in, in figma i know that's kind of like people love it people hate it but yeah so i feel like i can because of that, using also the plugin from Figma to Framer, it was like almost like 90% of the, the sections I would create was like ready, like, or yeah. it just works. Yeah. It just works. Yeah. So I've worked at a lot of websites where like designers just don't do like auto layout like that, or they do it, but it's not like there's a lot of extra layers and stuff, which is like completely fine. But if I'm like building it, I usually duplicate those sections and clean them up and organize in a way that I feel like it makes more sense for implementation and then move it to Framer. But, but I, when I was like designing and implementing, I felt like that was like 
a very frictionless process or like the fastest workflow I was able to get. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. I feel like it's been really useful for me and for other people who are considering the switch. Uh, congratulations mm -hmm. on all of your success so far. It's been a, amazing to see you grow and, and build your freelance. Well Thank done, you. Man. I appreciate it. And also like, I really appreciate the Webflow Masterclass and just like from the beginning, kind of like following the Flux Academy and like, it wasn't just about Webflow. It was just, it was also about like becoming a better designer, a more independent designer. So I feel like that also played a big role from like, because if I had, if I didn't do that and like Framer came along and Contra came along, I wouldn't have like been as ready also to kind of move into those things and like be comfortable to charge like, you know, now I'm charging like 2000 for like a simple landing page and, and Framer on Contra, which I would not do before. I was charging like less than that for like a whole website. And for design too, you know, before I, I did the, the master class. So I appreciate that a lot. Thanks so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. Talk soon. Talk soon, man.